Hello again guys, welcome to Take It Easy. I'm Alex and today we're going to be looking at the Razer Goliathus Extended RGB mouse pad. It's going to be quite a quick one today because, I mean, it's a mouse pad. But it does have some special features which we'll go over in the video. If you could leave a like and subscribe, that would really, really help me out. Let's jump straight into the video. Okay guys, so I thought I'd start it off with a quick unboxing video just so you can see how it comes and what's in the box. There's really not much to it. It literally comes with the mouse pad in a sort of black tube. Uh, I had already gone into it just to check everything was okay. Uh, so it would usually come with a plastic like sort of film around it just to keep it all in place. So this is the Razer Goliathus Extended Mouse Mat. So Razer have actually started to offer a range of products all in this mercury white theme along with the quartz and the black editions. So you can get a headphone, headphone stand, microphone and much, much more all in this one color scheme, which I think is really, really nice because more people have started to care about how their setup looks and more people are opting for a specific color theme. So it definitely gives people a bit of breathing room now because I don't think many other companies do this like people like Corsair there aren't that many different color schemes you can choose from apart from the special edition keyboard which I reviewed the other week which I will link in the video okay so do you need a mouse mat yes you do but do you need this one which Razer claim enhances all gaming mice and it's optimized for all levels of sensitivity. Other special features would of course be the Razer Chroma, which offers a full spectrum of 16.8 million colors, which of course you can customize in the Razer Synapse app, which is very similar to the Corsair one, which I showcased in my keyboard review. But this does not have the multiple zones like other Razer products do, so lighting effects are going to be limited. So I do have a few gripes with this product, and that is that, first of all, the smaller version of this comes with some nice little cable clips for some cable management, and that is, of course, going to be cheaper. But this one doesn't come with any of that, which I don't really understand. Secondly, I think it's lacking a USB pass-through. I think that would have been a really nice feature to add considering this is going to take up one USB slot and all you're getting is some lights. There's a lot of other things that people are going to need to be plugging in. And lastly, of course, is the price. Uh, this comes in at around £60, which I think is really silly because the Razer base station, which uh, doubles as a headphone hanger, that comes in at $69.99 and has uh, three USB ports on it. And I'm no expert, but I can imagine that takes a lot more uh, materials to build than this. So I'm not quite understanding the pricing on this. I'm not saying don't go out and buy one of these. I'm saying leave it till last. So once all the rest of your setup is up to scratch, then go and think about buying one of these, especially in the Mercury White Edition. There are hundreds of other options out there, um, just your bog standard mouse mats. You can even get black RGB mouse mat. So if you are a big RGB fan, yes, maybe consider this. And if you are trying to build an all white setup, as I am, then yeah, again, maybe you could consider this because I haven't seen that many RGB white mouse mats, if any, for that matter. Okay guys, really hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments if you're thinking about buying one and whether you think it's worth the money or not. I think I mentioned in one of my previous videos that this is gonna 
be part of all white setup, which I'm going to showcase in a couple of weeks, maybe. Um, but I will be sure to let you guys know when it's ready. Again, if you could like and subscribe, that would really, really help me out. Take care, and I'll hopefully see you guys in the next one.